All right then, here we are at a uh, average semi detached house. It's a um, pre-war semi uh, in um, in North Yorkshire, and uh, we're here to discuss wall tie replacement and uh, the shoddy type of thing that's been happening over the last 10 or 20 years in wall ties and why wall ties should be supervised better than it is. Uh, so we've got a semi-detached property. Um, it's unusual, this one, because it's constructed with solid 9-inch walls to the front and the rear and a cavity wall to the side. But as you can probably see, uh, somebody's been along and recommended wall tie replacement and they've put remedial wall ties in there you can see the dot. Uh, that one's been over torqued and cracks the brick through its centre. That's a common problem with mechanical ties, particularly if you put them near the edge of a perp like that one. You can see it split the bed. It split the brick, uh, sorry, vertically. Very common problem. That's a bad fixing. It's not going to work. But the big thing about this, of course, is we can see the row of headers. One there, one there, one there, and then a few courses up, one there. One there, one there. So what are these wall ties doing? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Waste of money. So we'll walk around the side now, um, where wall ties were required, and um, and just see what's been done by this specialist wall tie company. Um, so again, we've got a nice big pattern of dots all over the place. Uh, we can see that they've uh, filled these with mastic. Never a good idea because of course it lightens with age and it changes colour. It looks dreadful. Um, now, we have got no isolations. We've already got some horizontal cracking in the bed joints. Um, some repointing's been done. Um, more horizontal cracking in the bed joints caused by wall tie corrosion. Uh, you can't see it on the video, but it's quite a bit of it at higher level as well. Um, some of it actually extending through the freshly pointed areas. Apparently this wall tie job was done about 10 years ago. Um, Back in the 90s there were lots of wall tie companies operating, some of them very cheap, we're getting that problem again now, we always do in a busy uh, housing environment. We've got another tie there, which has split the brick vertically because it's been over torqued. Same thing here, look at that, split through the middle, that's a bad fixing. Um, over torquing mechanical ties, particularly when they're tightened up with an electric drill is a common problem. Um, if you come around the back here we've got the same. And by the way, this at the back is solid 9 inch again. Um, we can see the, the rows of headers um, in the brickwork. So there we have a row of headers. And then midway up the window another row of headers. But of course some jokers come along and installed remedial wall ties. Um, don't know what training he had. One or two other problems here, look, we've got a pier here. A tie very close to the edge. Another one there, that does tend to over stiffen the corners of a building. It's more of a problem in more modern buildings than these houses, because these don't move an awful lot. But when you're dealing with, uh, say, a um, you know, 50s, 60s built property with a lighter brickwork or combination of brick and block, you do not want to see ties near the edge like that, because they over stiffen the, uh, the corners. So here you are. Uh, here we are. We've got a property with a, a guarantee on it. The contractor's gone into liquidation, obviously, because they were rubbish, so they were never going to survive. But the damage is done, and this poor lady is selling her property, and she's faced with having to have the wall ties to the side redone, uh, and also all the ties isolated, which wasn't done originally. No doubt the contractor made a lot of money uh, uh, turning up and installing ties and disappearing the same day, so do watch for these issues uh, and try to use either a structural engineer or a building surveyor to supervise your wall tie specialist. Or use a specialist with some, um, you know, some credentials, at least NVQs for the technicians, uh, membership of the Wall Tie Installers Federation, or the Property Care Association, um, rather than somebody who's a specialist merely because they can spell specialist. Right, there we are.